everyone, I'm Will, and today we're gonna look at low bush blueberries. But before that, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. So what you're looking for is a great place to find blueberries are in a big open field. Now where I'm at right now, this is the community kind of blueberry field. So a few years ago, they burnt this to help grow of blueberry plants. If we get a little bit closer and look closer at the uh, plants, we start seeing the blue. Now the blueberries on these are going to become only about easy to harvest them up. You can harvest them by hand or you can use a rake. you look right here, this is a light blue blueberry right here. And this one is a dark blueberry. Same plant, but a different variety of color and slightly flavor. Let's taste it. Not a lot of flavor. So let's try the darker variety of low bush blueberry well i think that they are a little bit more sweeter the lighter version is what most people think of blueberries you can mistaken the dark variety as huckleberries but they are not huckleberries they're just a darker blueberry i think the darker ones are a little bit more sweeter and the the lighter ones more of the light blue color are going to be a tart flavor so if you add both of those into a pie it will be astonishing so if you can look it's not that much blue all throughout here some of the darker variety of blueberries are right here but it is actually mid-august and mid-august is the best time for peak flavor of blueberries but if you want peak amount of blueberries on the plants they are going to be best harvest is in July. Now with picking in mid-August for the peak of flavor, you are also dealing with less leaves. If you look closely, a lot of the leaves have actually fallen off or starting to change color. That will have them fall off a little bit in a way that they're easier to harvest less leaves when you are using a rake. Now with raking the blueberries, got the rake, you want to find a good patch where there's still a few blueberries still on. Now, right here looks like a good spot. You want to rake in, pull back. Rake in, pull back. You don't want to like rake straight across and rip the plant out. You want to pull backwards and not injure the plant. And also it gets less leaves. So you're going to still get, hence, grass and leaves a lot less now with raking you are going to need to pick the leaves and sticks and stems out and if you come across any of little caterpillars and insects that will be there a good way to uh, get rid of all that is just sitting down and just picking it away it takes time but it's best to harvest it while you can then go home and work on it in your downtime. Now, when you are trying to search for the low bush blueberry, the low bush blueberry can grow up to three feet tall. So they're not going to be always less than a foot tall as of what you see right here. These plants, because they were burned about this whole field about two to three years ago, to increase growth on blueberries because they were not growing as many blueberries and now they're picking back up and tastes fantastic because of the creation of nitrogen and also phosphorus was created by burning. Both minerals are very important for growth and flavor of blueberries. Now let's look a little bit closer to the structure of the low bush blueberry shrub, but don't get mixed up by a cranberry field. Now a low bush cranberry and cranberries and blueberries have the same genus. So 
a cram a low bush cranberry field will also be a maroonish red color now a great way to actually find blueberry fields in the winter is look for like a maroonish look to the field like a different coloration like the grass is going to be a brownish color and if you see something that's slightly maroonish those are the coloration of the stems and the trunk of the shrubs but also if there's any leftover leaves on the shrubs of the low bush blueberry they're going to give off a maroonish to a reddish hue now with the shape of the leaves, they're going to be in a ovate, a little bit wider ovate size and shape. And they are going to grow somewhere about upwards of a, like an inch in length and about a third of an inch in width. And the leaves have a very small serration to the edge of them. The branch structuring that you are going to see with this is going to be the alternate branching. The coloration of the stems and trunk are going to be a greenish look to the newer growth, but more of a brownish to a light brown coloration to the older growth. When you're looking at the fruit, you don't want to look too much to it and you will see that it will grow upwards of a third of an inch wide, uh, fully rounded but it's going to have slightly flat side on the bottom and top and then the crown of it. So where the flower was is very important to look at that also. Blueberries are a great source of antioxidants, but also a great source of minerals too. And that's how you identify low bush blueberries. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel, or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to a thousand subscribers. And of next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.